the guy that oversees all this. <laughs> Blandino would get it wrong. <laughs> what was that, Matt? Blandino would have gotten it wrong, so you don't want that. All right. Well, I guess we're six and six, so you've got to do at least six. All right. <clears throat> Matt, you ready? Yeah. yeah. You're ready. All right. Super Bowl 31, 1997. What was the Patriots' yards gained rushing? 43, 67, 95. 95. 95, it was 43. Next one, Super Bowl 21, 1987. How old was uh, Phil Sims? 34, 31, 32. Uh, 31. 31. He was 32. Oh, so close. Oh. Super Bowl 43, 2009. What was the Steelers' time of possession? 33 minutes and 1 second, 30 minutes and 11 seconds, 38 minutes and 4 seconds. Uh, A. 33. You would be correct. You're on the yes. scoreboard. Super Bowl 19, 1985. Who did the halftime show? The tribute to the NFL with uh, Huddle's team's mascots, the Children Choir of San Francisco, or the U.S. Air Force Band? Uh, the Children's Choir of San Francisco. The Children's Choir. No, it was the U.S. Air Force Band. Oh. Super Bowl II, 1968. Who sang the anthem? AFL and NFL giant figures, the Grambling University Band, uh, or the Air Force Flyover? Oh, I'll go with uh, C. You're going to go with C. It was the Grambling University Band. Oh. Okay. Next one. Super Bowl Nine, nineteen seventy five. Who sang the anthem? God. Mercer Ellington, Grambling University, with Mardi Gras chorus, or just Grambling University? <laughs> oh, A. You're gonna go with Mercer Ellington. Nah, it was Grambling and Mardi Gras chorus together. Super Bowl thirty, nineteen ninety six. How old was Troy Aikman? Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty one. Uh, twenty nine. 29, you are correct. Next one, Super Bowl 48, 2014. Who was MVP? Tom Brady, Malcolm Smith. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> Not like last week. Go ahead. Super Bowl 28, 94, 1994. Who was the, what was the Cowboys' time of possession? 33, 30, ah, find out. Didn't yeah. even get oh, Matt, uh, th this, Harris, I want to bring up the fact that the guy who ran his mouth lost. This is really yeah. similar. If I, have to, I had to let you win, Mike. If I had to let you win. You, know, you, yeah, you don't whatever. get to win you're, anything you're else. You're a 49er fan. You're a Bengal this fan. You don't get to win like, anything, so i got to let you. It's just like the 1982 season. Y'all win a championship. You get all cocky, then you come out. Um, and Mike, I won three weeks in a row. Good for you. But you <laughs> How many of you won? Week? I didn't you win this win week. i got to let you win. Oh, yeah, you got to let me win. Right. You see what I deal with, Alan and Chris? What, what, I, what think, I think you should at least get your title right and start referring to you as Coach Mike. If I recall, that's, <laughs> that's the proper protocol. See, this is, this is what I go through when I lose, so i got to give it back to him. Well, you lost. I'm, and you didn't just lose. You didn't even make it to the final. I didn't. Okay. I just All right, Mike, show us what you got. This is, this is this recurring theme about people's feelings on this show. And, uh, I know. And see, this is what I I, I brought yeah, last Chris week, and Alan Mike, on. you were talking all about feelings and stuff. I brought Chris and Allen on because I want to see how Matt treats me with the, you know, the snide <laughs> remarks at the start of how he was going to win again. And, you know, I, I didn't was, say that. I just said I was going to defend. I didn't say anything at that point. But then this just kind of eggs on, and then he flops. He throws up an egg. He loses miserably, and then I make one innocent comment, and then he goes off on me again. <laughs> but Coach Mike, the, the record will show if, if people play the last four, five, five shows, including this one, that you are much happier tonight because you want to watch. And I mean, I understand the correlation, but you, you are like a really happy dude tonight. Man. Well, you know That's why I'm nice happy to today? I'm happy today because Kenny Anderson called me and will be a guest on the show in the next two weeks. That well, be good. that deserves to be uh, that, that deserves the happy hour. Absolutely, congratulations! Yeah, That's great. That is. That's why I'm great. excited. Now we've got to try to get Bob Greasy for Chris. Oh yeah, no, no Evansville no. native or Dan Marino. Oh, either way, we'll we'll have a heck of a show. 
All right, we're to the finals, and Matt Andrews Cabbage is taking on nobody because he lost. It'll be Alan, yeah. Alan and myself. Lost in the first round like the Bengals. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? At least you made it to the show so you're not like the 49ers. <laughs> this year, that is true. Man, you guys are Just brutal. Better and better. <laughs> Actually, it's the last two years y'all didn't make it. And since you got chipped yeah, in the, in the last five, 25 you years, you ain't won a playoff game. So? What's your point? See, he's being he's snide saying. and rude again. Let's just go ahead and no, get to gotta, the finals. I got a match fire for fire with you, Mike. listen Mike. to the big boys play. The only way. You know, play on the jungle gym. So let me, get, let me get this right. So according to you guys, the, the one that deserves to win the most is the one who is a fan of the most successful team, right? That's what Matt thinks. That's um, what Matt thinks. Okay. <laughs> just, wanted, just wanted to make sure how the rules are shifting week to week. Yeah, I mean, he always picks on it because he won two Super Bowls against my team. And I would like to throw Chris in and just say, you know, in my defense, at least my team didn't get, like, hammered and the game was over by halftime. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on. on (laughs) (laughs) I have nothing. Who's Alan's favorite team? Uh, I'd have to say the Colts. Oh God! All right, we'll we'll just skip that. We won't. Let me see what I have to deal with. <laughs> oh my God! You know how Colts fans are, Chris. They act like they've been fans their whole lives when the team oh. hasn't been there half their life. They have to Google their history. That's <laughs> yeah. You Google the history. Why... Most of it comes up Baltimore. I, I will vouch for Allen, though. That that wouldn't be the case for them. Okay. Well, I'm still going to take it out on you, though. So, all right, we'll go to the finals. All right, so which one of you is going to go first, Alan or Mike? You're going to have to do the uh, the coin cost here. All uh, right, Eris flipped the coin. We'll let, Chris, we'll let Alan call it. Okay, I'll flip the coin. Uh, uh, it's uh, Alan, what do you want? Heads. It came out heads. So do you want to defer or go first? I'm going to go first this time. Okay, the You're one thing go... I will bring up, I do want to go last, but, Eris, there's no way you flipped the coin in time from where he said heads to you said it's heads. But, all right, we'll go. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's technology, man. It is entirely possible. It's this atomic clock that I'm using. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I'm betting you don't even have a coin, but all right. Because I know I didn't when we did the original coin toss that started the show. <laughs> and it worked I just thought well, something in it? my head, and then, you know. <laughs> They had to and guess what was in my head. Right. And when you have to guess what is in my head, Matt will tell you, you're not going to be right. <laughs> no. Even when you're right, you're not right. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead, Alan. Alan, All right. you're up. Okay. So, Super Bowl 29, 1995. What was the 49ers' yards gained passing? 271, 198, 316. 271. 271, it was 316. Next one. Super Bowl 41, 2007. How old was Rex Grossman? 27, 23, 26. 27. 27, it, he was 26. Very close. Super Bowl 41, 2007. What was the Colts' yards gained rushing? 112, 191, 91. Uh, 91. 91. It was 191. Oh Next one, Super Bowl 27, 1993. Who sang the anthem? Garth Brooks, uh, Michael Jackson, or uh, rest in peace, Prince? Uh, Prince. It would be Prince. It was Garth Brooks. Next one, Super Bowl 16, 1982. What was the Bengals' yards gained passing? 194, 284, 80? 194. 194. No, it was 284. Next one. Super Bowl 36, 2002. How old was Tom Brady? 26, 23, 24. Uh, t- uh, I'm sorry, give me those answers again. 26, 23, 24. 23. 23. He was 24. Next one. Super Bowl 27, 1993. What was the Bills' share per player? 18 grand, 34 and a half grand, 38 grand. 38. 38. It was 18. Next one. 
Super Bowl III, 1969, what was the Jets' total net yardage? 337, 273, 361. Uh, three six. Uh, the second. Uh, the second one. So I'll read them again. Three thirty seven, two seventy three, three sixty one. Uh, uh, a three thirty one, three thirty seven. Whatever that you was. You would be correct. You got it, and you timed out just uh, just at the thing. <laughs> well, you got one out of one. Two, wow. One out. Hey, of you know what, Alan? In the finals last week, we had a guy that missed everything <laughs> after getting everything right the round before. <laughs> yeah, he went seven and all. And then he got 0-5, missed the same question twice, and thought Brett Favre played for the Pack, for the Broncos. Wow. That's right. Yeah. Well, this, boy, that was embarrassing. I, I, I should have gotten better than that, but uh, that's all right. Well, Go hey, ahead. you know what? You're farther ahead than two people, including <laughs> one that bragged about how great he was before this. So uh, at least you made it <laughs> to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I would like the record to show, though, that uh, – Alan Buck uh, said he was a Colts fan, and he missed the question on the Colts yardage. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, I nailed the Bengals question, if you remember. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it wasn't just that he missed it. He missed it by like 100 yards. Oh, yeah, I missed that by 100. That was really bad. That was really bad. <laughs> so we'll go Colts one. Now it's the Bengals' turn, and we'll see who's better. But, Alan, to your defense, there were like three questions that you were off by one year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, for or or just one little little number. So so you were in the right place. It was just uh, it was just one of those. Yeah. But you, well, it's pretty pretty good though. So, Coach Mike, you ready? Yes, sir. You ready? All you have to do is get two. All right, here we go. Super Bowl ten, nineteen seventy six. Who played Raiders, Vikings, Vikings, Dolphins, Cowboys, Steelers, twenty one seventeen. That would be correct. <laughs> Next one, Super Bowl 41, 2007. What was the Bears' yards gained passing? 229, 324, 154. 229. 229. No, it was 154. Super Bowl 48, 2014. Who coached the Broncos? Oh, John Fox, Jim Harbaugh, Pete Cowell. John Fox. Yeah. That's Next one. Super Bowl 33. You've already won, by the way. You've got your two. Want to keep yeah, going? but I want to run it up. Go ahead. Super Bowl 33, <laughs> 1999. Great what was the Broncos' share per player? It's 1999. 18 grand, 53 grand, 36 grand. 36. 36. It was 53. Next one. Super Bowl 5, 1971. Who coached uh, the Baltimore Colts? Tom Landry. Don McCaffrey. Don McCaffrey. That is correct. Next one, Super Bowl one. What was the attendance? Seventy five thousand five hundred and forty six. Seventy five thousand three hundred and eighty nine. Sixty one thousand nine hundred and sixty one. Sixty one. You would be correct. Next one. Super Bowl forty five, two thousand eleven. What was the Steelers time of possession? Thirty three minutes and twenty five seconds, twenty two minutes and fifty five seconds, twenty six minutes. You would be correct. Next one, Super Bowl seven, nineteen seventy three. What was the Redskins share per player? Twenty six grand, nine grand, seven and a half grand. Seven and a half. Seven and a half, correct. Next one. Super Bowl forty four, two thousand and ten. Who sang the anthem? Gary Underwood, the Who, Chris Daughtry. The Who. The Who. It was Gary Underwood. Next one. Super Bowl eighteen, nineteen eighty four. How old was the Redskins quarterback? How was Joe, Joe Tyson? 34? 33. 33 or 31? It was 34. Okay. It was 34. Super Bowl 28, 1994. Who was the Bills' starting quarterback? Jim, Jim Kelly. Kelly. Or, Aikman, or Stan Humphreys, you will be correct. And that's it. You find out. All right. So that's seven? Two, three, four, five, seven. You did great. How many did I get? Ten? You got seven. You got seven. Seven? Yeah. yeah. That means got, that I beat the Colts seven to one, right? That's <laughs> But the Is Dolphins and the 49ers you know? didn't even make it that far. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You always win an imaginary football, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice turn of a phrase. That's similar to the high school team you played for, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that you guys have uh, have uh, met before. <laughs> 